Hello guys, uh, my name is Marina, uh, I live in Kyiv, Ukraine, and I want to tell you about the things that inspire me the most in my life. Uh, first of all, I wanted to, to show you this painting. It's um, called Bart Philippe Bergere uh, by Edouard Manet. I hope I spelled it right, I've never studied French. And um, I think that this is the case where um, the book I saw it, I firstly saw it in, uh, helped me to understand this painting uh, more and uh, helped me to see, um, helped me see what an amazing story it tells, uh, because <clears throat> it has lots of uh, small notes on different detailing in the painting, and uh, like um, it's small things, but uh, you will never probably notice it or uh, like look into it, uh, because like people who basically wrote this book they are like dedicated their whole their whole life lives to um, art and to paintings so I think that they like they really looked into it and uh, I like that um, this part yeah like it can uh, look like um, it's some other girl who works with the, the main character Suzanne uh, in the bar, but uh, actually it's not. I think that this is uh, like um, it's like her past. It's uh, the conversation she had like a few moments ago, and um, I really love to look at this picture and I love to imagine all the story it tells because like I want to know what what she's think thinking about and why she's so upset. Like she's not upset. She's like like. Um, zoned out and uh, this is what I want to know like I want to know about the people who are there in the reflection and like what's her typical day about and what she had this conversation about and stuff like that so this is an amazing picture and uh, painting and it really inspired me at some point in my life and I think I was in uh, basically in like in, in school uh, like in eighth form or something uh, the second one is a book. It's uh, the women. Uh, it's women who run with the wolves, uh, by uh, Professor Clarissa Pincolestes, and uh, it's a very interesting book because uh, it tells about uh, the story, uh, like the history of uh, and transformation of female archetype in different uh, myths and legends and fairy tales uh, from uh, the countries all around the world, like from different. Um, different nations, different nationalities and stuff like that. And uh, I really love um, that it's it tells so much more about uh, it tells it told me so much more. I never really thought about it. Uh, it gave me such uh, huge inspiration with the stories itself uh, themselves and uh, at the same time it told it tells about the sto the, the role of storyteller in uh, society in every society like from ancient times till nowadays and this role is huge because like stories can uh, they uh, collect all the history they collect all the knowledge all the wisdom uh, like life lessons and they can heal they can help they can um, teach you they can uh, like I don't know they can basically be a salvation and um, I really love this book like one of my friends she says that uh, she actually like she started reading it and she felt like it was like the same um, idea uh, told over and over again but I don't feel like it I really love this book and the third one is uh, this one uh, it's um, a fairy tale by a Russian writer called uh, Sofia Prokofieva and the book is called uh, Astral and um, the Forest Keeper uh, I'm not like I'm not so confident. I'm not confident at all at my pronunciation. So I'll try to write down all the all the books I'm telling you about and like all all the all my inspirations for you to like maybe if you if you decide to like to Google them and to to read about them more. So this book is um, I love this book because uh, even since even when I was a child and this was one of my favorite childhood books and even when I was uh, a small kid I never really liked ordinary stories I uh, like uh, the stories that are very like basic and are very like structured like in ordinary way I'm not really I wasn't fan of it I really loved uh, stories that um, contained like road trips and uh, some may argue that uh, like almost all stories 
and it includes road trip like um, if we talk about like our typical uh, fairy tales that uh, they all have like the road of like the road that hero like protagonist needs to go to achieve some point some goal but uh, I loved like like basically like real road trips like um, the Wizard of Oz or like Alice in Wonderland I love this and this book is um, it's not about road trip but um, it's very not typical fairy tale because it tells a story of a wizard uh, but he's a very like non-traditional wizard because he lives in a basic apartment building and he goes grocery shopping and uh, he has a cat, uh, a cat who can talk and he has lots of things to say and he has he's quite a character, that cat and um, uh, once, like one evening um, the wizard comes home from, I don't know, maybe from, from a shop or something and uh, he finds a strange letter on his desk and it says um, like all, please, all good wizards, come to our town, our city. Um, we are in grave danger and everything is very bad here. We need your help. Uh, and uh, it's signed Estriel, um, the princess of Twilight, something like that. And uh, he uh, realized, uh, at some point he realized that the letter can disappear in Twilight, like it becomes invisible. So uh, the next day, uh, the wizard and his cat, uh, they go into the fairy tale, like basically into the fairy tale through the door of a house um, painted with the chalk on the ground. So I'm not going to tell you all the story, but this is amazing. I loved it when I was a kid, and it was so fun. It has such nice characters, and it wasn't like a traditional way of t to tell the story. It was it was very unexpected. I never knew what what's going to happen then and that's what I loved about this book. And um, there are so many books that uh, inspire me because uh, inspired me throughout my life because uh, I was always like a bookworm and I was oh, I always loved to read. So I want to like very quickly tell you about some of the books that I also like I cherish a lot. Um, first of all, this is uh, this book. It's um, in my loose translation. It means um, it called uh, the Catchers of the Magic Wind, and uh, I felt so bad that I never didn't include any like Ukrainian stories into all this mix into my selection. So uh, this one is, and um, it's basically like a love story, uh, like a love novel. But um, we didn't have like we have a very we don't have enough genre literature in Ukraine right now at this point and uh, this one is like it's a very good example like what it should be I think then next one is uh, Bush and Daisies it's a TV show and uh, it sadly was cancelled and uh, after the second series but if you haven't watched it like go and rent or buy and watch it because it's amazing it's colorful it's wonderful and um, like Brian Fuller, the creator of this show, is my all-time hero, my all-time favorite person. So, it's a big recommendation for me. Then uh, it's um, uh, Cat's Cradle, but by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, I read about this. Uh, I wrote about this in our first task, and uh, it's an amazing book. It's just amazing. I wouldn't change any word in it. Then it's. Uh, Chocolate, but by uh, John Harris, and um, I love it because um, it's very colorful, it's very powerful. It's uh, it also tells about like female inheritance of certain powers, and it's very it's very bright, it's very visual, and that's what I love about books. Then it's um, On the Road by Jack Kerouac, and I don't know, I'm not going to tell you anything about it because everyone loved this book, but it's it was huge influence on me. And um, basically like all the books I own by a uh, Japanese writer, uh, Banana Yoshimoto, and um, she's just an amazing person because she uh, basically, lots of people doesn't get, like, don't like her style, but it's very, it's very simple and uh, like at some point maybe nothing is happening, but um, it's so good and she writes so like, it's clear, but it's very uh, like, she builds the picture like at once, like with few words, like with few sentences. You can see it in your mind, and 
I think that this is um, it's amazing. I love her. I like. I, I own five of her books, and I want more. So thank you so much for listening to me, for listening to me ramble, and uh, I hope that it was um, interesting for you. And I'll try to list all the things I've talked about to you under my video. So take care. Uh, thank you so much for attention.